What are the characteristics of a good communicator? When I was a small boy, my mum definitely thought she had the answer. I remember I was in primary school and she was off to a communication class. And she came home and she said, Paul, they told us the three characteristics to being a good communicator. This is them. Stand up, speak up, and shut up. Not entirely untrue, but with a bit more exploration, we can find a more practical three tips to being a good communicator. The first characteristic that I would suggest is to prepare. Now, you've heard this before. Of course, you prepare for an important high stakes presentation or piece of information that you want to deliver, but very few of us prepare with the audience in mind. Now, when I say audience, it could be one person, it could be a handful or a large group at a conference. It really makes no difference. If we think about our audience and if we think about what they're likely to be motivated by or what they're likely to be demotivated by, it's important to frame our communication with that in mind. The more we can consider the needs of our audience, the more we can design our communication to be very engaging, which gives us the maximum chance of creating influence through what we say and do. The second characteristic of good communication is variety. Changes in your tone, your pitch, your volume when you're using your voice but also using your physiology, creating visual things that are interesting and, again, with variety for the audience makes a huge difference. You can be a really high-energy speaker, but if you stay at the same level for a whole 10 minutes, that becomes fatiguing for the audience. So light and shade is critically important. In fact, in the Colin James Method, when we ask people on our communication programs what is the number one thing that creates disengagement and boredom, they will say a mono-style delivery. So variety is key. The third important tip when it comes to the characteristics of good communication is be yourself, be who you are. There is nothing better than listening to someone or watching someone who is just being their natural, authentic selves. But what's funny is in the world of business, we feel like we have to be clamped and closed down because it's serious stuff we're talking about. So we can't exhibit all that natural personality that we do in our social communication. Well, that's absolutely not true. In fact, and I see this all the time and I'll bet you do too. I'll be working at a conference and I'll see the speakers up on stage and they'll be so staid and so straight laced and dull. And I'll see those same speakers interacting with the people at the conference in the tea break and they're chatting to them like this and this happened and yeah, and you wouldn't believe it. And isn't that amazing? And suddenly all that a passion and emotion comes out that was completely bereft when they were on the stage. So it works. It works in any context and it certainly works in a business context. In summary, the characteristics to good communication, One, prepare with the audience in mind. Two, variety in the way we deliver our communication. Three, be yourself. As they say, everyone else is already taken. Good luck with your next communication.